welcome to my channel, Nurse Catherine here, and today we are going to be discussing nursing portfolios. So why a portfolio? Why is a portfolio even important? This is your way of showing who you are in a totally separate way than your resume. So every new grad, every seasoned nurse is going to want to have a portfolio. This is how you can show your employer who you are and separate you from the rest of those. So in your portfolio, you're going to want to put any committees that you sit on, your participation within your place of work, what you have done in nursing school, any awards that you have won, any patient letters that have been, been written to you. This is the stuff that you want to put in your portfolio. This is your way of securing the job that you want. So do it, do it, do it. This is so important. So what do you need to create a portfolio? All you need is a professional looking binder. I always stick with black. It's nice and clean looking. Cover sheets because you never want to put holes in any of your documentation. You're also going to need dividers to separate your portfolio sections and then all your documentation. That's it. It is so simple. So you have all your stuff together in the very beginning of your portfolio. You want to first put your cover letter, then your resume, then your license, your certifications, meaning your BLS life saving certifications. After that, you're going to want to put two letters of recommendation, either from your school or your employer. If you already are a nurse, you're going to want to put your unofficial transcripts behind that. We all know C's get degrees, so don't worry about that. And then after those two letters of recommendation, you can put an optional resume of why you first had wanted to become a nurse. So now you have all of that done. Next comes your sections, which is super easy. I'm going to list each section and I'm going to tell you what you need to put in each one. So let's start. So your first section, you're going to label education. This is going to be your first tab. Under your education section, you're going to want to add your nursing degree documentation or any other degree that you may hold. The second section that you are going to put in is your certifications, other than your life-saving certifications. If you're med surge certified, you're going to want to put that underneath. Your third section, you are going to label awards. So have you won anything as a student nurse? Have you won anything as a registered nurse? You want to put that under there. Your fourth section is going to be your volunteer section. So under this section, put pictures of volunteer time that you have done. This is a really cool part of your section that can separate you from the others because not everybody does the same volunteer time. And then your fifth section is where you're going to want to put the copies of those letters that patients have written to you to thank you for caring for them or that a preceptor nurse gave you while you were in nursing school. You definitely want to put those letters underneath there. So that is literally it. It is that simple to make a portfolio. Right before I graduated nursing school, I had an interview at a well-known, well known internationally hospital here on the East Coast and my portfolio helped me to land the job. It was amazing. I was able to meet with the nurse manager after my shadowing time on the unit and we were able to sit there and discuss everything that I had in my portfolio, the pictures that I had, and it just made the interview feel that much more relaxed and laid back and it made me feel more comfortable. So you don't want to come across as arrogant while you're talking about your portfolio during your interview. But remember, you are competing for a job, so you do need to talk yourself up a bit, uh, get that confidence behind you, because ultimately, do you want the job or not? This is going to set you apart from these others who are also applying for the job. So take the extra time. It takes 10 minutes to make a portfolio. So take that time, make a portfolio, because this is going to help you land that job that you want. So get out there, start applying for jobs, 
watch my previous resume video that I had made. This will even help you land the interview. This portfolio is going to help you get that job. So please go back and watch that. I know it's long, but it is so important to have a good resume and it is so important to have a portfolio with you during your interview. I'm so excited that I can share this information with you guys and go out there, do it, land these jobs, find your path.